Well, in this short video, we're going to continue our discussion of the external business environment by discussing specifically the technological environment. As one of the elements of the external business environment, the technological environment is primarily concerned with all of the different ways that businesses can provide value for their customers by using technology. And there's a number of different ways that businesses can accomplish this. Obviously technology is increasing at a very, very rapid rate and we've seen a lot of new developments uh, with regards to technology. And so there's a number of different opportunities here that businesses can leverage. Uh, but as, as has been a common theme throughout our discussion of the external business environment, opportunities that are not seized can essentially become threats. And I'm going to give you a few examples of how that has played out in the not so distant past here. Uh, so first, let's, let's talk about some of the developments with regards to technology here. Um, there's been a lot of shifts and businesses can essentially look at those technological changes and use those to provide value to customers, uh, which is essentially what the main focus is. And obviously how businesses can be competitive is looking for ways that can separate or differentiate themselves from competitors. And so the first thing we want to bring up here is kind of this idea of e-commerce. Uh, e-commerce is obviously not a new idea anymore and is something that has uh, certainly uh, risen or risen to prominence over the last decade or so with the popularity or rising popularity of the internet. Uh, now obviously this is kind of commonplace of course. Uh, but one of the things that uh, kind of changed the way that we conduct e-commerce was a little site by the name of eBay. And obviously eBay is hugely and widely known now, uh, but eBay started out and there was a lot of skepticism when it did start back in the 90s. You know, there was a, a great deal of skepticism with regards to uh, the model of this kind of e-commerce auction type site if it was going to really catch on. And part of the issue was, of course, uh, the belief, at least at that point in time, that people didn't really want to buy something without having the opportunity to see it, uh, to hold it, to test it out, and to try it, to make sure that it functioned the way that they at least hoped that it would. Uh, and obviously, in e-commerce online setting, you don't have that opportunity. And so the belief was that these e-commerce sites weren't going to be very successful. Now, we obviously have the benefit of seeing that not be the case. Uh, but unfortunately, that was the belief at that point in time. But what eBay did very successfully was they found a way to leverage changes in technology and to use that to provide some type of value. And the value that they provide is one of convenience. It's the ability to shop in numerous different locations without having to leave your home for any reason whatsoever. And so that is the value that they provide through technology. Uh, another good example of a, a company that has used it or used technology as a way to provide value uh, is Netflix. And Netflix came on the scene uh, probably in the kind of mid 2000 range, and they obviously were very popularly known for their kind of DVD mail order business, uh, which is the the first element that they kind of uh, rose to prominence with. And that was in direct competition to services like Blockbuster uh, and really put them on the map. And, and once again, they, they use technology in terms of logistics uh, for the purpose of kind of organizing that type of system here. But taking that a step further, they since obviously kind of ventured into the realm of streaming, uh, which is what they're commonly known for now and what the business that they're really trying to support. Uh, the DVD business is, of course, still around, but that isn't the primary focus for, for Netflix, of course. Uh, they're looking kind of into that future there. And so streaming was obviously a, a shift in technology, right? At some point, it really wasn't around, and, and Netflix was aware that there's going to be a transition, right? In terms of providing content to consumers, yes, having them being able to select DVDs and get... Uh, deliver directly to their homes and to watch them is great, but the new the next shift is going to be really just getting content directly 
to your set-top boxes or some other type of media device. Uh, so there isn't, it kind of eliminates another step there. And so they were well aware that this was going to be kind of the next big thing. Uh, and so they invested heavily in that by investing in the technology to stream their content directly to consumers because they knew it was going to provide value. They knew the convenience factor uh, was going to be huge. And, and what have we seen now as a result of that? We've seen tons of different companies get into that business. We see Apple, of course, is now involved in streaming. Uh, Amazon is involved in, in streaming technology. Uh, we see Walmart uh, purchased a uh, company called Voodoo uh, to do kind of the same thing. And there's uh, countless other different companies that are gravitating towards this business. And so obviously it isn't necessarily the industry it once was. There's a lot of competition here. But that's because that Netflix found a way to provide value. Now you look at the counterpart to that. And we, I brought up the company before. But you look at a company like Blockbuster, for example. And, and they were obviously a victim uh, to the technological environment. They didn't have the ability to see the changes that were taking place in that particular environment. And that really led to their uneventful demise, or unfortunate demise, I should say. Uh, but they ended up getting purchased by, uh, as we know now, Dish Network. Uh, but Blockbuster failed to adapt to the technology. And that's where not seizing an opportunity can certainly become a threat because Blockbuster failed to adapt to the DVD mail order business. They kind of jumped on board, but it was a little late. They were certainly very, very late to the party with regards to streaming technology. By that time, the damage had certainly been done. Uh, and so by not seizing those opportunities, you put yourself in a position to where you're vulnerable to the actions of different competitors there. And so it's really important to stay in tune to what is changing in technology and to see ultimately how you can use technology for the purpose of providing value to your consumers.